outro cast. Marshall, Will, thank you both for your time today. Congratulations on this movie getting out into the world. Now, this first question, rather than asking you both how you're doing, because that's it's too nice. Marshall, did you first meet Will working on uh, Division Three Football's Finest? Uh, no, I, I met him uh, a few years before that. We did a we, we did a short film prior to that. Our, that was our first uh, little collaboration. Was uh, called Just the Worst. Um, but uh, no, we were just hanging out. Met him through friends. We started watching football. Is that the story? That's know. pretty much it. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, Marshall had always been making uh, you know, early on a lot of comedy shorts. And then, you know, it, it was not unlike this movie when he made Division Three. It, it was, and, and I don't know if this will cover any of your questions, but it, 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 just like Division Three, he was like, this is the part you're playing in the movie. So, so that makes it easy when you have your pal going, here's the part you're playing and I don't wanna, I don't need your opinion. Well, if I may, I think with Division Three, because it was a little early on our, our, uh, of, working together and being friends, I was like, would you like to be in my movie? And then for Film Fest, then I said, this is what you're doing. I don't remember it that way, but you know, <laughs> if, you, if you say so, you're okay. the boss. Okay. Well, when was Film Fest actually wrapped, Marshall? Uh, uh, June of 2019. Wow, okay. Yeah. So having that extra time, did you do any tweaks or find yourself second guessing the, the finished product? Uh, we finished it when we finished it. And, um, you know, we screened it for uh, cast, crew and friends and like uh, right before quarantine. And so we had this 300 you know, seat thing in the Chinese theater. And it was a really great reception. I've just been sitting on it, waiting for it to come out. Uh, you know, the, the more time that goes uh, to my thoughts and not seeing it, then I, you know, wake up in a cold sweat, you know, because I fuck it up and, and uh, and okay. <laughs> is that okay? All right. Uh, <laughs> um, but then, you know, when it came out on Amazon uh, for rental and, and purchase, my wife and I turned it on and we just watched the whole thing. And I was like, oh yeah, I do. I do love this movie. I'm very proud of this movie. So I think it's just the time of, of it, of it not being out is dangerous, but mostly I just need to move on, you know, well, Will, if you don't mind to compliment this early into the interview, uh, you can improvise, you can do sketch, you're naturally funny, I like all the work that you do, but Thanks. when you play a character like this, was there a lot of prep needed or had you met so many people like this over the years that it was just easy? Well, you know, there's no more, uh, there's no, no more of an influencing douchebag than the one that is me. So I, when playing a total douchebag, I first mind my own douchiness and then I go, well, I'm going to need to add a little something extra because this guy is, nope, nope, got all the douchiness I need to play this guy. Maybe I should study some, nope, no, 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 you got it all. There's enough douchey cringe dude inside of, of you, Will. Um, well, well yeah. that's not fair. Ah, come on, Marsh. You douchebag. Now, how, now, see, now you feel. Now you he improvised feel right there. See, those are the chops I was talking about that will yep. improvise. <laughs> no, I, you know, this character was, was I, I love what Marshall and Paul did with him. And it was, it, it was, I mean, it was very easy for me to get into it. And, and, and I mean, I just loved the script and, and, and the guy is just nuts. And uh, so, yeah, it was one of those where it's like, got it. This is going to be a lot of fun. And and certainly there's there's an amalgam of of, uh, I guess, you know, cringy, um, douchey characters, which are just, you know, which are always fun to play. The guy who thinks that he's one thing and, he, and he's another. And, and this guy has a, a lot of that. So it was great. It was fun. Yeah, I, I find as a press person that also can look back and go, oh, these are horrible interview questions. I can do it both ways right here. I see that a lot of the people who run the film festivals are generally struggling, frustrated screenwriters or movie producers that think that that's what they should be doing. Marshall, is this is Will's character based on one particular person or is that just based on years and years of going to these festivals? I think it's a combination of uh, different uh, festival directors I've met or filmmakers. Um, yeah, I, 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 he's a, he, yeah, he's a couple of a few things plus Will. 
<laughs> plus Will. So this project, like others you've done, is an all-star cast, a really star-studded kind of thing. Are you at this point in your career, Marshall, more going to your friends and going, hey, I got a part for you, rather than having to do the traditional casting process? Uh, no, I think there, it's a combination. You know, I, I don't know everyone that fits every role. Fortunately, I know a lot of very funny, talented actors, and that's uh, always fun to be able to know, just have the confidence that they're going to nail something. Um, but no, I, yeah, I mean, we, we, we cast a few roles in this, and uh, um, that'll probably always be the case. Are you okay with this film being called a mockumentary? Because it's not like Spinal Tap or Waiting for Guffman or anything like that, but obviously it's so reality oriented that I mean, it. I, I actually don't refer to it as a mockumentary because I feel like a mockumentary comes with interviews, you know, like that playing to camera kind of doc style. Um, I, I, I take it as a compliment because I feel like the performances are very, you know, sincere and real and grounded. So, um, you know, in that sense, I, I like it. Will, do you remember how many days you were on set for the film? Oh man, what was it like? Five, five? Wow, yeah, around five. I mean, look, Marshall, when you're making an indie film, you, you've got to shoot a lot, of, a lot of pages every day and Marshall can, can motor through a lot of stuff. So, so I, at, at no point did I look at the schedule and go, oh, that's not going to be <laughs> enough time. Um, and yeah, like, like, like you've said, and, you know, as Marshall was, was telling you, you know, he's got a lot of funny people around. So I, I was totally excited to jump in there with a lot of, you know, groundlings and, and, uh, and other just really funny performers. So yeah, it was, it was, yes. uh, five days was plenty. Heavy days though. Cause we really maximized your time <laughs> when you were there, like the award yeah. show. I mean, you're, you're doing that whole thing and the opening gala where he's announcing all the nominees. And I mean, this, it's a lot. It's a lot of material to do in a day. He's basically talking the whole time. You just <laughs> answered two of my questions without oh, trying. And the right. first one was, you have a lot of Groundlings related people in this cast here. So was there improv? And then the second thing was, was it shot out of sequence? And based on Will being there for five days, yes, it was shot out of sequence. Do you remember the first thing that you shot for this, Will? Yeah, it, um, it was the award ceremony. Was it? No, not the award ceremony. It was the opening gala, right? Is that? Is uh, that no, the it was the award ceremony. It was the award ceremony. Yeah, um, yeah, it was the award ceremony. We're in a theater, and and it was it was a it was a great way to jump in because you're in this big space with with almost the entire cast it has to be there because you know there's all the reaction shots in the audience, and then Marshall shooting over them. Uh, to get the stuff and and it was it was like it, it was like a, a really fun yeah, I mean it's like it, it's like anything when you realize you're doing something that that, that you're really enjoying it doesn't seem like difficult or even tricky in any way it was just extremely enjoyable and and uh, you've got these people were all reacting to each other and it's like okay now it's your turn and they go on stage and do a bit and you're like ah it's great and then you get to go back up and you do it. And they're like, eh, you know. Um, but yeah, it was fun. Marshall, besides people like me saying, this is funny, this is great. Any feedback that you've gotten from film festival related people since the film came to light? I haven't talked to a whole lot of festival like gatekeepers or, you know, we, we didn't really do a festival circuit with this because it was all during quarantine. Right, right. Um, Austin Film Festivals where it premiered virtually. It was a really... Uh, great reception there from what we can tell virtually, uh, but mostly just filmmakers, anybody who's been to a film festival, um, our, our mutual friend, uh, Chris Candy, he was oh, telling yeah. his girlfriend what, what the movie was about. And I always love to hear what people think the movie's about or how they describe it. He's like, oh, it's just a brutal take on film festivals. I mean, really accurate, really, really funny, but brutal. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I guess, I, you know, there's that too. Uh, Chris Candy's a friend of a friend of a friend who knew him from the punk rock world. Uh, oh, wow. Punk rock guy as well, Marshall? Uh, he's, is he? I mean. Who, Chris? Yeah. Not, I mean. I, Chris, he, is a, Chris is a big music head. Yeah, he's, anytime anyone's talking about bands, he'll be like, oh yeah, I saw them. And then have a whole like, yeah, he's, he is, into, he's into punk. He likes his rock. 
There you go. Uh, so no for Marshall, yes for Will, big secret music guy. Uh, am I a secret music guy? Oh, I thought you meant Chris. <laughs> yes, I was meaning Chris. My, my friend of a friend of a friend, whatever you want to call it, met him on the Warp Tour in the early 2000s. Yeah. And Chris was, oh, cool. I think, offering to direct music videos for some of the bands on that tour. And people oh, are like, that's cool. You want to? Yeah, sure. So film guy out that's there. Rad. I was trying to yeah. clarify if Marshall Noon from the punk rock world. Oh, no. The answer oh. would be no. No, no. No, I enjoy music. And I don't believe that Marshall enjoys music. So, no, I, I'm joking. Everyone likes music. We I, all I like see music. Guitar behind Marshall. So I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy music. <laughs> but, but uh, football was the initial common ground you said between you two. That's correct. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, Marsh, Marsh, and I have been pals for a long time, and uh, like a lot of. Uh, good business ventures they come out of who comes over to your place on Sundays to watch football and then uh yeah but Marsh before, previous to that we'd worked on a short and uh or that you know that Marshall was making and he had me in it and yeah just kind of ran the same comedy circles and uh for me it was more of the punk rock scene but Marshall wasn't really a part of that yeah Marshall's not into punk rock like yeah. me and you not like me and you and Chris oh, try to not like everybody else well, one of my favorite things that Will has done are his various forays into the pro wrestling world. Uh, one of the last people to have a match with Bret Hart. Uh, yeah. How many people can say that they wrestled Bret Hart? Did you ever see that, Marshall? Did you ever see Will yeah. wrestle Bret Hart? Yeah, you could. And then uh, I, I saw you were in the uh, you were in the ring a few times. You were in there as Curly as well. Yep, I was in there as Curly. I was. We were promoting the Three Stooges. And Curly was pretending to be Hulk Hogan. Yeah. So the Three Stooges, but there was Larry and Moe, and then Curly came out. Well, of course, if you're watching Raw, you know the backstage segments. I was just yes. Curly. And then he's like, I know what I'll do out there in front of the WWE universe. And then I was Hulk Hogan. Yeah, no, I got to wrestle Bret Hart. It was crazy. And, and the man didn't, like, not even a nick. There was nothing that hurt, and it was – the guy – it essentially had a match with a, with like an industrial sized sack of potatoes and made it work. He was literally in the afternoon was like, Oh, you've watched this stuff. It'll be fine. But what? And then he did it. It was incredible. Was he ultra nice to you because of the Canadian ties? He didn't want word getting back to Canada that he didn't take care of one of its own. Well, we, we knew each other very well from the meetings, but uh, so yes, we're all good. Shh, shh, shh. All the Canadians. So we knew each other from the meetings. And uh, yeah, no, we, Brett's, Brett is like the nicest, coolest guy. Like it's, it's actually incredible how, whatever. Let me talk about wrestling for four hours. It was amazing. No, but what else, no, but what else about wrestling? <laughs> yeah. Let's talk some more about wrestling. Well, you mentioned the Stooges. Is it true that there's a Stooges sequel in the works, Will? No. No, there's not. I don't know why that's still on IMDb. It's been dead for years. There was an idea originally. It's never going to happen. Uh, but it was a lot of fun when we did the movie. So, no. Wow. Well, throwing it back to Marshall here, what's the next project? Are you allowed to say or are you under Deadline.com embargo? Um, there, I mean, I could say, but I kind of just don't want to yet. Yeah. Uh, there will be an announcement probably in the next little bit. Um and I'm excited about that. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're, that. Marshall and I Marshall and I are working on something. I guess we can say there's a script that we wrote and uh, we've revisited it a, a few times. And, uh, you know, like a lot of things, it's, it's, it has so much to do with timing. And then sometimes you write something comes from a very real place. And then you're like, later, you're like, oh, this really makes sense, you know, right now and stuff. So w there is a film that, that Marshall's been really eager to get made and and it's something that we we wrote and uh and yeah and now the both of us are both pushing to, to yeah to get this done so hopefully we're going to have a nice you know an announcement soon could i be more vague about something that people probably you can talk longer uh, about it without saying anything hey do you know what you know what's your favorite bret hart match <laughs> hey that would be yours will of course it's not because i was with Shawn michaels it's you 
Yeah, yeah cause, well, because I was just watching uh, some yeah. stuff online with uh, Bret Hart, uh, the one, two, three kid, Sean uh, Waltman. You yeah. probably know him as X Pac. Well, they uh -huh. had this match. It was a barn burner back in 93. And Waltman oh. still says it was his best match. And Brett says, I would have loved to work with that guy more. You know, uh -huh. they didn't really work together a whole lot. Just like uh, Brett and Macho Man, those uh -huh. guys should have worked together more. They were on like, uh, like one Saturday night's main event. No, it wasn't even a main event. It was like Wrestling Challenge, one of those Saturday afternoon shows. Yeah. They're two of the best <laughs> workers ever. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Film Fest. <laughs> Well, I think the bottom line, what I've learned today is you two have known each other a long time. Will, not just a performer, but also a writer and something that you're working on with Marshall is coming soon, although we don't know a lot about it. Uh, this film has been in the can for a while, even though a lot of people are learning about it here in mid-2021, but mm -hmm. it's COVID and other stuff happened. The film festival circuit has not blacklisted you guys over this film. Uh, we've learned that Will goes to Canadian meetings that you have to be mm -hmm. invited to. Mm -hmm. Yep. That Chris Candy is a punk rocker just like Will is, but Marshall is not in the punk rock club. Will and Chris enjoy wrestling and music because we have fine taste. I, and Marshall I was a big fan of wrestling until I was about nine. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah. Low hanging fruit. And, and the last compliment, uh, Marshall, is there anyone that does a better Stone Cold Steve Austin impression than Will Sasso? I would bet not, but also wouldn't know because. Because who cares, Marsh? Because who cares? <laughs> It's a it's a great one though. I've seen I've seen Stone Cold. Yeah, Ball, yeah. And I've seen Will. Pretty good. Well, congratulations to both of you on a great film that's very entertaining and looking forward to this next mysterious project whenever it may mysteriously come out. Thanks guys. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you so much. Outro cast.